Okay, what is Micropulse Laser? The, probably the best impetus for driving uh, uh, people to consider subthreshold and more specifically Micropulse is the first rule of medicine, right? First, do no harm. Uh, anybody can set up a laser system to do photocoagulation and so forth, but the push was, let's see if we can try to get the same clinical endpoint without the collateral damage that's induced by photocoagulation. So, Micropulse simply understood. If you look at the slide on the left for continuous wave, you have a fixed amount of energy delivered continuously for a set time. If you're able to chop that up or break it up to large intervals of off and short periods when that laser's on, you get that micropulsing. So what's the big deal with it? What does it achieve? If you look at the temperature uh, uh, effects, the, temp the tissue temperature gradient, is you get with continuous wave this exponential rise well beyond the threshold for photocoagulative damage and as soon as it's off there's an exponential decay in the temperature. By chopping that laser the tissue if you control it right does not reach that threshold for photocoagulation it quickly cools off so you allow this cooling period for the uh, tissues.